Hello everyone, welcome back. This is going to be a quick little video where I kind of discuss something I've noticed in the coloring and art community surrounding the AFMAT pencil sharpener. The AFMAT is an electric pencil sharpener. Um, a lot of us have been using it these days and I have also noticed a lot of negativity about it. I've seen people who use it and people give comments, oh that chews your pencil, you shouldn't use it. Um, I hate to break it to you all, but it does not chew your pencil. <laughs> um, and I think it's a combination of the visual effect versus how you use it. So I kind of wanted to go over that today. If you're unfamiliar with the AFMAT, it is an electric sharpener. It can handle 6 to 12 millimeter barrels, which is insane because most sharpeners cannot. Um, it does load from the top here and it can automatically stop when it reaches its sharpest point or you can pull it out sooner. So I have some pencils here that I want to show you. So I have one where I sharpened it using my method where I only let the little blades spin around three or four times, pull it out, check it, and you know, if it's sharp enough, I call it a day. I also have one where I sharpened it where I let the machine auto stop. And then just, you know, to have our other control factor, I used a Tagal on setting number five. Now, I didn't use my doll 133, but it would be similar to the AFMAT's end pencil anyways. My doll has uh, decided to no longer sharpen. It's on strike. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to kind of go over this with you. So first things first, let's do a measure because that is important here. So I'm going to take the one that is the manufacturer sharpening. I have not touched it. I'm lining up the end and not really the round end, but the squared off end. And this comes to just shy of 17.5 centimeters long. So here is the one that I sharpened using my method where I just let it go round about three or four times, pull it out, call it a day. Lining that up. We are still just shy of 17.5 centimeters. So I did not lose any lead. All right, now if I let it sharpen till the machine turns itself off, I am down to, what, 17 points, I don't know. Two, three, I don't know. You lose a little bit more, a teensy more, like say, let me get this one back up here. Line them both up at zero. So you lose a tiny bit more, but nothing drastic. I mean, it's not even, it's not like a full centimeter. <laughs> and I suck at measuring anyways, but you get my gist here. See, and they are lined up just to show you. So now taking the Tagal, which I did on setting number five so that I would get a sharp point. That one, I didn't lose much lead either. It stayed about 17.5. The biggest difference you will notice is the amount of wood taken off. Now, I think that's where people think their pencils are being chewed up. I don't consider the amount of wood being removed as chewed up because the wood has to come off to sharpen the pencil. That's just the name of the game. I look at how much lead I have lost because that's what matters. Am I losing lead or am I losing wood? Those are two different things. So the Tagal takes off less wood, but that's because of the way it is designed. Now a Coombe sharpener is similar, won't take as much wood. The electric one does take more wood, but did not take all my lead. It did take a little bit more when I let it auto stop, but if you just let it go about three or four times, look, it's the exact same length. I didn't lose anything. I did lose some wood. But I will tell you right now, even though I can't demonstrate because my doll is dead, using this for over a year, my doll would have removed the exact same amount of wood to get that sharp point because the doll does take off some wood. So here's why I think people assume that it chews up your pencils. One, 
An electric sharpener moves way faster than a hand, you know, like a manual Tagal or a hand crank. So you see your pencil go down quicker, as opposed to watching it slowly as you're twisting it <laughs> sharpen away. Uh, the other thing is the amount of wood they see come off, or even the shavings in the aftmat barrel. All can freak you out. I get that completely. However, again, it just exposed enough of the wood so that it could shave down and give me this incredible point because while the Tagal used less wood, this is the point I get with Tagal. And the Tagal is incredibly sharp. That point on a Prisma is going to snap right off. Now, oh, see, it even broke as I put it down. <laughs> this point on the aft mat is kind of blunted, just like the doll 133 does. doesn't snap as quickly, so keep that in mind. But yeah, see, that broke off because it was just way too sharp. So does the aft mat chew your pencils? No, in my opinion, it does not, because my lead length stayed exactly the same when I let it go around just three or four times. Even on the auto setting, while it did take up a teensy bit more, it wasn't detrimental. So if you want to be lazy, like with my 520 brute funers, I am seriously, I don't care. I wait till the machine finishes. So yeah, I may shave off like 0.2 centimeters <laughs> or however that works out. Um, but I'm not losing sleep over it. Same with my Prisma colors especially because of the sharpened point I can get with it. Now, if you don't want to lose a lot of wood on your pencils, then you don't want to use an aft mat or the Doll 133. You probably should stick to a Tagal or a Coombe sharpener. Now, the Tagal, if you really don't want to lose a lot at all, move that bad boy to setting number one, which is the same sharpening um, as the Prismacolor manufacturer one. This is sharpened here with Tagal setting one. Takes the least amount of wood, exposes the least amount of lead, you'll actually get the least amount of breakage, but you'll also be sharpening over and over and over and over because <laughs> this itty bitty sharpened little point does not last very long, my friends. However, on a Prismacolor, or any very, very soft pencil, sometimes it's better that way because you'll experience less breakage, which actually will preserve your pencil longer. So that said, in my opinion, I don't think the Aftmat chews your pencils like crazy. Um, even if you wanna be lazy and just let it go about, yes, it will take a little more, but not tons. However, the way around that is just let it circle three or four times, pull it out. If it's sharp enough, call it a day. Cause look at that, I lost no lead doing that. So I hopefully that puts some minds at ease. I'm sure I'll still get a bunch of negative comments <laughs> and whatever. Everyone is entitled to their opinion. This is just my opinion on what I feel with the AFMAT because I have noticed a lot of people saying that it chews up your pencils and I have not noticed me going through, after using this already a couple months now, I'm not going through pencils any faster than I did with my doll, although it's broke now, or my Tagal. The only thing I'm noticing is I am not killing my hand, constantly sharpening. Um, with Prismacolors, this Tagal, while great, um, Prismacolors tend to break loose from their wood lovely manufacturing, whereas the AFMAT, they don't. So I experience less breakage. I have less pieces just falling apart in the core. So if you have a pencil with some core issues, the electric sharpener honestly will save you a lot more in the long run, despite the fact that you may think it's chewing up your pencil, which it's not, because I already showed you. <laughs> but it, you kind of have to just come down to your pencil. Uh, if you have a very expensive pencil and you don't want to use a bunch, then definitely do setting number one. Only problem is that the Tagal cannot fit large pencils. Like a Lumi, I don't even think a Lumi fits in these things. I'll be honest, I've never even put a Lumi in here. Yeah, it fits, but it's a very tight fit. <laughs> um, and it doesn't come out. Okay. And I know a whole bind doesn't fit in there. And you definitely will not be getting any sort of square pencil up in there. So keep that in mind as well. 
But yeah, I just had to make this video because I've seen a lot of comments on my channel and a few of others um, kind of with the misunderstanding of the aftermat. So it comes down to factors, guys. How long do you let it sharpen? And what kind of pencil is it? And what kind of end do you want? Do you want an end that's going to break and require you to sharpen it anyways? Because then what did you just save? Not much. Um, and then at the same time, is it a pencil that already breaks pretty easily? If it does, and it tends to shatter a lot, an electric sharpener will save you on breakage a lot more than a hand sharpener because you're wiggling that core loose as you sharpen, and that will cause a lot more breakage using this as opposed to just running that bad boy through this. I actually go through my Prismacolors slower using an AF mat than my Tagal on setting number one. So that's just my experience, and as with any video I put out, it is always my opinion, which we are all entitled to, um, <laughs> but I wanted to share just that and kind of show you guys that I truly don't think this chews up pencils uh, enough to, you know, toss it in the trash or worry, and like I said, with this method that I use here, I didn't lose any lead. So to me, nothing has been lost, nothing has been chewed, everything is good to go, and I am ready to color. So let me know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> Hopefully I don't get too many nasty ones, but um, I just wanted to share my opinion and maybe hopefully put some of you guys at ease if you were worried about your F mat chewing up your pencils. And like I said, if it comes down to wood, then you need to switch to something like a Tagal or a Kum sharpener or a knife sharpener. You know, do the whole old-fashioned knife thing if you if you want to live dangerously. That is, um, but those are about the only way around that. But really, I have been using this thing for a few months now solidly, and I have yet to see any of my pencils, including Luminance and Holbein, which I run through there, by the way go down any faster and you know that I cry every time I sharpen a Lumi. <laughs> so if I'm still running them through the AF mat, that's a good sign for myself and those who follow me. <laughs> but thank you everyone for watching this. I hope it helped. Um, and like I said, I can always do a demo if you need to see how I use the AF mat so it doesn't use a ton of lead. But even then, if you use the auto setting guys, it's not that much. You are going to lose a little bit more, but it's not detrimental, especially on a budget pencil. Now on a Lumi, you might want to use my method and save a little bit more, but look at the difference. It's so tiny. <laughs> like, it's just the wood. When you guys see the wood going away, that's where everyone goes, the pencil's been chewed up, but the lead length is what matters here, at least to me, because I color with the lead and not the wood of the pencil. So, that is just my opinion. But all right, I think we have shown my science and theory on the AFMAT sharpening, um, and hopefully it helps anyone who is curious. And until next time, take care.